What we're going to be doing on Soldier Reviews is taking a look at Hollywood's portrayals of soldiers in film and TV. Each episode, we're going to take at least five scenes from a movie and show and give them either a sustain if it's an accurate portrayal or an improve if they've taken a bit too much of creative license. Welcome to another episode. This week we're going to be taking a look at another request. It's uh, another episode of Generation Kill uh, called The Burning Dog. One, two, three, four little people outside. Plus the three old ladies. Hitman 2, this is 2-1. We've had eyes on the village for over one hour now. There are seven women and children. No adult males. No sign of the men who fired those mortars. I'll copy. This is Hitman 2, solid copy. In this opening scene, they, they're getting eyes on a, on a small village. And uh, they're watching. Uh, their binoculars have the, have the cutout so the sun doesn't glare off it. All that is great. It looks like they're sketching what they're seeing. They're all looking and uh, reporting what they're seeing. And that's exactly what happens for a recon. Uh, I don't think you needed four people to do it. But that's just how they did it in this scene. And they did it pretty good until something goes wrong and it blows up. But a good sustain for this scene. All Hitman 2, Victor, this is Hitman 2. Increased dispersion, break. Lola Loom is restricting our viz on the NVGs, over. Hitman 2, Hitman 2, 3, Roger. Hitman 2, Hitman 2, on top. Roger that. We got the bridge, four clicks to head to the west. It'll be a right turn toward the bridge of Udman. Yeah, roger that. Brad. Is that a guardrail on the side of the road? It's the shoulder. It slopes. I know you've got no depth of perception in those NVGs, but use some common sense in your situational awareness. It's the way that the f***ing ambient light is slanting in. I can't tell if the dark areas are ditches or walls. So now they're on a night mission. Driving with night vision is one of the hardest things to do. Uh, the, what he talks about is depth perception. Uh, it's hard to see what are holes, what are not holes, uh, especially low light visibility. Um, yeah, the drivers, uh, they have a little bit of a problem. So they're trying to navigate roads, especially on these uh, small town dirt roads. Those are probably the hardest to navigate. So this is a perfect depiction of what happens uh, through the eyes of a driver uh, while he's trying to drive with that, those night vision on. So definitely good sustain on that. Yeah, it's, it's like a Connex box in the middle of the road. All headband two victors be advised. There's an obstacle in front of the bridge. We cannot continue forward. Hitman 2 1, is there any way around it? Negative, Hitman 2, we need to peel. Ray, I need to egress immediately. We're in a kill zone here. Whoa, can you see the ditch that I just drove past? Yeah, it ain't a ditch, it's, it's like a drain pot that could drug on the road. Hey, Brad, the spares vehicle is in front of us. We're boxed in. I'm up on a fight. Hitman 2 3 1. We're men in the trees. Progress egressing. Turn it around. I'll be right back. Jesus Christ. We've got to turn it around now. We engage. Turn it around. Go shoot. I'll shoot for more. Hold on. 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 And uh, it gave the enemy time to set an ambush. And what an ambush it was. Uh, there was chaos, uh, confusion, and of course we were firing back, but it was a, a perfect obstacle to block these vehicles. 
And it was so much confusion that the lieutenant actually had to dismount his vehicle and run to each vehicle to let him know what he wanted done because there was too much chaos on the uh, on the radios. So the, I'll give it a sustain for this one. Republican Guard took over every classroom. Now we get to blow up a school. <laughs> this is every fourth grade boy's fantasy. There was a lot of explosives in this school. One thing that I don't like about it is I don't think you'd want to blow up a school in a town like that and cause more enemies. So I think what should happen is that taking all that uh, ordinance out of that school and take it to a location and blow it up. But they decided to blow it up in place, and uh, I'd say this is probably good, a good improve because stuff like that causes more enemies. Never blow up a school. What are you doing with that smoke grenade? What we discussed yesterday, sir. New procedure for stopping cars. Charlie's already started using blue smoke. I don't like this, Brad. Sir, we fired the smoke grenade 100 meters distant. If it's bad guys, we still have time to light them up. We got reports of suicide bombers. Sir, we can still kill the cars that don't stop. This just gives civilians a chance. Now I'm asking, sir. You do have power with this. All right. We got a vehicle. Turned him, Sergeant. Got another one coming at us. You didn't even fire a warning shot. Well, so they were they were setting up this checkpoint in the town, and uh, the squad there had a great idea of trying not to kill innocent people by lobbing a smoke grenade just to let a vehicle come and at them know, hey, the next shot's going to be a kill shot. Um, and it was working. He shot the smoke, it turned the vehicle around. But then that next vehicle, one person got trigger happy and shot rounds right through the windshield. And it happened to be possibly an innocent civilian that he killed. So rules of engagement are huge over there. You have to take the steps necessary before you get to that kill shot. So I give kudos to that squad leader for coming up uh, with the smoke idea. It was it was a really good number one step. Sustain. Ross, your mind. So this, this episode's slow at first, but give it time. I think it's still a great episode uh, showing... Uh, on the battlefield uh, depiction and everything. It's really good. Thank you for watching. Uh, any other requests, let us know. Any questions, go ahead and ask. Make your comments. And thanks again.